Hey guys, it's Sen Build here and I'm gonna be talking about binary numbers today. Hey guys, okay. So binary is most often associated with like computers and electronics and uh, stuff like that. So it's gonna be really, really useful to know if you're interested in that kind of stuff. But this is a tutorial for just anybody who wants to know about how binary works. Uh, so here goes. The system that we normally use, which is made up of digits one uh, through nine, or I should say zero through nine, is called the decimal system. The binary system is only made up of the digits 0 to 1. Each digit in binary, whether it's a 0 or a 1, is called a bit. We say that the decimal system is base 10, and we say that the binary system is base 2. Alright, I'm going to write out a uh, decimal number and confer convert it back to decimal just to show you guys uh, how the base 10 thing works, so it makes more sense when I do it with base 2. So let's take the number 123. Uh, so this is the number 123. Now, what we do with the 1's place is we take 10 to the 0, and the 10's place we take 10 to the 1, and the hundreds place we take 10 to the 2. And then what we do is we say 3 times 10 to the 0 plus 2 times 10 to the 1st plus 1 times 10 to the 2nd. So what that equals is 100 plus 20 plus 3, which equals 123, which is the number we started out with. Now let's take an example binary number. So let's take a short one, like 1, 0, uh, 1, 0. So the example up here was base 10 and we used the 10, so since this is base 2, uh, we're going to use a 2. So just like before, 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3. Alright, except now see, since we have this 0 here, we do 0 times 2 to the 0 plus 1 times 2 to the 1 plus 0 times 2 squared plus 1 times 2 cubed. So 1 times 2 cubed is 8 plus 0 times 2. 2 squared, that's just 0, plus 1 times 2 to the first is 2, plus 0 times 2 to the 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, but times 0 is 0. So since we can cross out those zeros, 8 plus 2 equals 10. So 1010 zero, one, zero equals 10 in binary. Okay, I should let you guys know that this is called a 4-bit number because there are 1, 2, 3, 4 bits. Uh, and so that's just a common way of describing how big numbers are, or can be. Alright, I'm going to show you another example. Um, let's take the binary number 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And then, okay, so what we're going to do now is just like before, we're going to take 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 squared, 2 cubed, and 2 to the 4th. Now, just like before, we're going to go 0 times 2 to the 0 plus 1 times 2 to the 1st, plus 1 times 2 to the 2nd, plus 1 times 2 to the 3rd, plus 1 times 2 to the 4th. Okay, so now we're going to add this all up. So 1 times 16, plus 1 times 8, plus 1 times 4, plus 1 times 2, plus uh, 0 times 1. Okay, so 16 plus 8, plus 4, plus 2, plus Zero. Now we're going to add that all up. 16 plus uh, 12 plus 2, 0, 28 plus 2, 30 equals 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. That's easy enough. Alright, now, now let's uh, go from decimal to binary. Now, converting from decimal to binary is a lot harder than going from uh, binary to decimal. So, let's start with the number 139. It's a nice, ugly number. What we do is we take our number and continually divide it uh, by 2 down till we get to 1. Um, now, since we're dividing by 2, we're always either going to have a remainder of 0, where uh, 2 divides in perfectly, or a remainder of 1, and it's not going to be anything else. So what we do with those remainders is we, we take those remainders, since they're both 0 or 1, and those make up our binary numbers. Now, the first time we divide by 2, so if we divide by 2, uh, that's going to be 69, but this is going to have a remainder of 1, okay? Now, this 1 is the least significant bit, so LSB, least significant bit. When something is the least significant bit, that means that it's the first digit in the binary number. So, since this is the least significant bit, we'd put a 1 there and build onto it that way. 
So we're going to take uh, 69 divided by 2. That's going to be 34. Okay, so now that we have everything all divided and all of our remainders, um, we can build our number. So since this was the least significant bit, we already did that. Um, and then we next is this number. So that's this one. Now this zero goes over here. Now this one goes over here. This zero goes over here. Zero, zero. So that's all these three zeros and then one. So this is our binary number of 139. So 139. And a common way of showing the base of a number is just with subscript. So like since, since this is decimal, we just stick a 10 there. Equals 1001011. Zero, 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 one, zero, one, one. And since this is binary, we just stick a 2 right there. So that's how you convert decimal to binary. Okay, I'm going to do one more decimal to binary conversion for you guys. Uh, let's take the number, let's say 237. Okay? Okay, so let's start off by, just like before, dividing it by 2. And since this is an odd number, it's going to have a remainder of 1. We're going to go down to 118. Since it's even, it's going to have a remainder of 0. And then it's going to go down to 59. And since it's odd, it's going to have a remainder of 1. And then it's going to be down to 29 divided by 2. And since that's also odd, it's going to have a remainder of 1. And then it's down to 14 divided by 2. And since that's even, it's going to have a remainder of 0. And then down to 7 divided by 2. And that's going to, since that's odd, it's going to have, or since the 7 is odd, it's going to have a remainder of 1. Down to 3 divided by 2. And since uh, 3 is odd, it's going to have a remainder of 1. It's not divisible by, by 2. Uh, and then it brings us down to 1 half. And then since this 1 is odd, it's going to be 0, remainder, 1. And that's it. So remember that this is the least significant bit, and this is the most significant bit. The most significant bit is a number that's uh, furthest to the left, and therefore ha has the biggest exponent, or gives 2 to the biggest exponent, and therefore has the biggest effect on the number. So most significant bit. So least significant bit 1, starting with this 1, and going down the line, so 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, would equal... Um, 237 and 10 equals 2. And there you go. So if you like this video, if it helped you at all, please comment or subscribe or like. It really does uh, mean a lot to me. Um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.